talking about collinear points and ratio of division. Let us focus on the first part first. Collinear means that the points are on the same line. So for example, if I have a line and I have uh, the points A, B and C all sitting on the line. So I can say that um, this um, three points are collinear it means that they lie on the same straight line. So collinear points have um, the equation in a form of like factor A to B is equivalent equal to K, B to C. It's because um, collinear points actually have uh, two um, features. One is they are parallel. Of course, they are parallel because if you're considering the vector AB and BC, they are parallel. And of course, number two, they have like some sort of like a common point. So in this um, fact, uh, in this formula here, we can see that B is sort of like the common point. So in order to prove that uh, points are collinear, we need to have them satisfying these two um, in order to find that uh, the lines or the points are collinear, they have to satisfy um, these two criteria, which is number one, the, um, the lines, the vectors must be parallel and there must be a common point. So, for example, um, if we have a question show that um, these points are collinear. So, let's say I have A, which is negative 1 and 1, and I have B, which is 4 and 6 and I have point C, which is 1 and 3. So how do we find that they are collinear? We can just maybe um, develop two vectors. For example, the fa first vector could be a vector A to B. So from what we have learned just now, vector A to B is sort of like the B first, which is 4, 6, minus the, the A, which is negative 1 and 1. So we know that vector AB is actually 5 and 5. And um, maybe we can pick, because we have picked AB as the vector, we could pick another set, maybe vector B to C. So vector B to C will be, we have to take C first, so it's 1, 3. Take the negative or the take is part of the formula and um, because this is B, we have to take this one which is 4, 6 and simplify it. We will get um, negative 3 and negative 3. So if we compare these two, um, the first one looks like if we um, take out the 5, we can see that this is like a 5 times factor 1, 1. And for this one, if we take out negative 3, it's some sort of like um, negative 3 times the factor of 1, 1. So um, if we relate uh, these, two uh, these two vectors together, um, A, B will look like it's um, um, B, C times by maybe negative 5 over 3 because... Um, if we times negative 5 over 3 to this, we will get this vector here. So this will have a form of um, AB equals to a constant number times BC. So this is proven to be collinear because number one, they are parallel. And number two, they have a common point. The second thing that we are learning is um, the ratio of division. It means that... Um, the vectors are also, um, the points are also collinear. So again, let's say we have A and B, and we have um, maybe a point P, which is sitting somewhere here. It means that P is actually dividing um, the vectors of AB into a certain ratio. And um, we could write this as like A to P is um, it's to P to B. So let's say if um, um, the distance between A to P is double of the distance of P to B, we can write this ratio as 
two to one. If we have um, if we have a question, like for example, I'll just draw a line. So this part is for collinear. If we have a question like um, maybe A is negative three and two, B is five and negative one. So um, we need to find point P, which divides which divides AB in a ratio of two to five. So how do we do that? Um, we don't really need to draw the Cartesian plane and find out where it is, but if we draw a line that's somewhat similar to this, we know that we have a point A, which is negative 3 and 2, and a point B, which is 5 and negative 1, and we somehow have a point P, which divides AB at a ratio of 2 to 5. So it means that um, a to P is sort of shorter because it's like sort of like with a length 2 so that's P here and P to B is slightly longer so with a unit 5 so in order for us to find um, the point P P is sort of like a coordinate so we need to be considering like what is OP so let's say we have a point O which is here so we know that from what we learned previously that O to A is actually a vector of negative 3 and 2. O to B is a vector that's 5 and negative 1. And um, to get P, we sort of need to figure out what's OP. So um, by equating, like from what we learned previously of equating vectors, O to P is like going from O to A, O to A, and A to P. So O to P is like going from O to A and A to P. We know that O to A is negative 3 and 2. So what's A P? A to P is some sort of like um, 2 over 7 of A to B. Reason is because the whole length is 7 and A to P is just 2. So 2 out of 7 times AB is our AP. So um, if we copy this down, we sort of need to solve um, our vector AB first. And like what we have learned previously, um, vector AB is we have to take B minus Our vector a which is negative 3 and 2 so by doing this we could find that the answer is it's still negative 3 and 2 here plus 2 over 7 that's 8 and negative 3 so by um, getting this we could find that the top part will be negative 3 plus 2 over 7 times 8 which is negative 7 uh, negative 5 over 7 and the bottom part will be 2 plus um, 2 over 7 times negative 3 which would be 8 over 7 So this will be um, the this will be the coordinate of p. So therefore, the coordinate of p will be negative five over seven and eight over seven.